What's wrong with just saying I'm sorry? Many of you are so prideful, you too prideful to say I'm sorry. You too, knowing you did your wife and your husband wrong, knowing you did your family wrong, in the church and outside the church, but you so deep. I know everything. You know, you act like that. You know, you missed to know it all. You, you, you know, you're prideful. You're too prideful to come down to earth just as and, and say I'm sorry. You know you're wrong, but you're too set in your ways. You know the mean old folk in church. I'm not trying to put down these older folk, but some of you old people are mean. Can I keep it the Holy Ghost real? Oh, you supposed to respect the elders. Yeah, but how about the elders? How about the elders respecting the youth? Let's get in the word. Ephesians chapter number six. Yes, verse one said, honor your father and mother for this is right. Children, obey your parents in the Lord. But many of you skipped over verse four. Fathers, provoke not your children to wrath. I'm going to keep this thing real. Many of you are provoking your children. And many of you think because you the parent that you can say what you want to say out of your mouth. Your child didn't ask to come here. Here you putting your child down. Always got to... False accusation, always putting them down. Never have an encouraging word. And yet you in the church, always so quick to plead the blood. The blood of Jesus be against you. You got a demon in you. Everything is a demon. <laughs> you met them church mothers and church fathers. Everything got to be a demon. Everything ain't always a demon. Right. Many times you the demon. <laughs> Some of them just need to be encouraged. Some of them just been depressed. And they need an encouraging word from you. Come on, come on, look what the Bible declares in 1 Corinthians chapter 4. Look what the Apostle Paul said here in verse 15. For though ye have 10,000 instructors in Christ, yet have ye not many fathers. There's a lot of instructors. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not steal. Keep the commandments of God. Yes. But how about encouragement? They need encouragement. Many of you are so strict and so arrogant that you never even bother to say, I'm sorry. No, you dig your son wrong, but you never say I'm sorry. You know you dig your family member wrong, but you never say I'm sorry. Cause you, right? Look, look, now look what the Bible declares in Second Chronicles chapter seven, verse fourteen. What it said: If my people shall what? Humble themselves. Thank you. That's my wife, Lady Priscilla. I love you. And pray. Now, before you pray, you must first be what? Humble. Humble. Many of you too prideful. The Bible said, God resists the proud and give us grace unto the humble. Look at the book of Proverbs, chapter number 6, verse uh, uh, 16. One of the six things that God hates is a proud look. You see them folks have a proud look? Mm -hmm. yes. I'm better than you. They're always on the Facebook bragging about their money. They're always on the Facebook bragging about their house and, and bragging about their marriage and rubbing your marriage, uh, uh, your romance life, and women who are single who don't have a husband. Oh, I love my hubby. And my hubby got muscles. And, oh, I just love my hubby. He makes love with me. We don't want to know about your love making life on the Facebook. <laughs> Some things you're supposed to keep your business to yourself. Do you wonder why? Could I keep this thing real? Someone said this Holy Ghost real talk. Now you wonder why other women lusting after your husband. Because now you don't advertise your love making life on the Facebook. Or oh, my husband got big muscles. Oh, we can see that. Or oh, my husband, he know how to do me. We don't want to hear that. You're supposed to be saved. We don't want to hear about your love making life. And, and I mean, where you find time on to post on Facebook? Oh, right now, my husband is just humping me. Oh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> where you find time to be posting that on Facebook? What, he humping you while you posting on the Facebook? He humping me, honey. My hubby, my hubby. I'm surprised you didn't drop the phone. Oh, my goodness. Something wrong with you? We don't want, now here, other women who are single hearing this. And they're like, wow, where's my Boaz? I can't wait till God send me my Boaz. Now you making them feel bad because you are there bragging about your sex life on the Facebook. No, that is not wisdom. Can you say amen to somebody? Amen. Are you all prideful and all arrogant? I got a husband and you don't. I got me a wife and you don't. See, me and my wife, we love each other, but we're humble about it. Amen. One day God will send you your husband and wife. If you want somebody in your life, you don't want nobody, that's okay. You're married to Jesus. But you see my point, what I'm trying to say? God resists the proud. When you get a job, don't brag about it. Give God the glory about it, but don't brag about it. Say to God, be the glory, because the same God who bless you is the same God who can unbless you. Like God brought Lucifer down because his heart became littered up with pride, according to Isaiah chapter 14. If my people, 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14, who I call, which I call by my name, shall what? 
Now you can pray, pray and obey. Seek my face and turn from your wicked ways. Then God shall recover and hear from heaven. I will forgive.